five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Alabama. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise in support of my amendment. Federal bureaucrats at the Department of Energy are once again attacking Americans' freedoms to choose their appliances that they want in their homes. They tried to take 50 percent of the gas stoves off the market. Now they're coming for your room air conditioners. My straightforward amendment would block DOE's overzealous regulation on room air conditioner units from taking effect. Summers in Alabama, as you know, Mr. Chairman, are hot. My constituents, like millions of Americans, use air conditioners to fight this heat. For people who are so concerned about global warming, you'd think they'd want to make air conditioners less expensive, not more. I grew up dirt poor. We couldn't afford an air conditioner, and that was the case for most of the people that we knew where I grew up. What I'm afraid of is that the Biden administration wants us to go back to those times. This rule fits a pattern of Democrat energy policies making life more difficult and more expensive, especially for low-income and middle-income Americans who will struggle to afford the upfront cost of more expensive air conditioning units. Mr. Chairman, this amendment shows a clear difference in the vision between House Republicans and, Biden and the Biden administration and the House Democrats. House Republicans believe in American energy abundance and the administration believes in energy restrictions. We believe in consumer choice and the administration believes in heavy-handed government mandates. We believe consumers back home can make their own decisions while the administration believes the federal bureaucrats, Biden bureaucrats, can decide what Americans can and can't do on a daily basis. If a consumer wants a more efficient, energy efficient room air conditioning unit, they have the freedom to choose one based on what they think is best, not what the Biden bureaucrats think is best. This rule is another example of vast government overreach and should be stopped. I therefore urge my colleagues to support my amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I reserve the remainder of my time. General Alabama.